Damn. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to have a little bit of a conversation with everything that's been going on. If you guys know, this week has been insane. The market has had one of the craziest movements we've seen in years. Um, you're talking about GameStop, talking about AMC, talking about course. There's been a lot of movement in um, the feds are actually talking about investigating the SEC is talking about investigating and there's so much going on so I want us to talk about it and then talk about our game plan because um, when there's trouble and there's chaos like that there's still a tremendous amount of opportunity for us to get into and take advantage of that so don't lose sight of the opportunity because you're chasing that little uh, gain um, in GameStop and in uh, uh, AMC. So that's what I really want us to jump into. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, I if you guys notice, I didn't do a video to asking if you should buy or sell GameStop or AMC or any of that stuff. Um, and the reason I didn't do that video is because uh, I, some of the video, the stocks that I cover here on the channel, I mostly cover stocks that I want you guys to buy and hold and make profit. I'm, I'm teaching you guys how to really build wealth and make it sustainable. I know it's very easy for you to focus on chasing the quick wins um, that we've seen in the market right now with GameStop and AMC, but I, I want you again to think long term, not just think about these quick gains right here because you see people make um, you know hundreds of thousands of dollars and the, I mean, for every person that's making that money, there's somebody losing because when you buy, it means somebody's selling. And when you're selling, it means somebody's buying, right? So I want you to have that mindset. Again, what is going on in the market right now? We've seen that um, Wall Street hedge funds actually decided that they wanted to really kill GameStop. Like they shorted the stock over a hundred percent. So basically it was like, we're going to beat you down like a crocodile that you are and can get you out of here. And so there's a bunch of guys on, on Reddit, like a group on Reddit that decided to be like, no, 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 you can't do that to a company. There's people working there. There's lives that are at stake. You guys cannot just sit in, in, in on Wall Street and decide that this company is not worth being around. You have no 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 implications you know, for doing that. So these guys went to work and pumped the price of the of GameStop up and up and up to the point where the people that shorted the stock, these hedge funds on Wall Street, were losing money. And so these guys are now in panic mode. And so they're bringing in the government, they're talking to the Biden administration for regulations, they're talking about regulations from the SEC. And I, I think this is, this is a game that's rigged against us retail investors. And the reason why I think it's rigged against us is when these guys on Wall Street decided to short game stock over 100%, that wasn't an issue. It was absolutely fine. Nobody made any sound. There was nothing about them doing it the wrong way. But as soon as retail investors start bidding them at their own game, they want regulations. And all the regulations that they want is regulations that fit their narrative, that fits their need, not for you and me. Um, the part that I really got disappointed is, is that um, big tech is actually coming in and also using the power to punish retail investors. So basically, guys, these guys are in the business to make us poor people stay poor while the rich continue to be rich, continue to enrich themselves. Because if you look at brokers like Weibo, Robinhood, they actually suspended GameStop, AMC on their platforms for reason that nobody can explain, that they don't want you to buy the stock. I'm like, at what point has the government gotten so big to the point where they're controlling how much, how you spent your money? So if you took your money and went to the casino and gambled that money away, can the government come and stop you from gambling your money? Heck no, it's your money. You can do whatever you want to do with it. But I see the government stepping in and trying to regulate that people shouldn't buy and sell securities on the, on the, on the, on the exchange. It just doesn't make any sense. When Wall Street does it, it's absolutely fine. And when they make a mistake, the government steps in and bail them. When Main Street does it, that's wrong. 
we have to regulate it. This is unprecedented. These people don't know what they're doing. They you have a lot of traders. They call them Robin Hood traders. They have no idea what they're doing. Like they, they completely forget that right now with opportunities, with technology, with the internet, people can sleep in the basement in their pajamas and get the same amount of research. And they say, I mean, think about Google has all this compute power that you can type up just a simple uh, program on there and run it. It will run and execute just like the guys on Wall Street do today. And yet, they still don't want us to have an equal playing field. It's just not right. I, I mean, personally, I, I'm so disappointed that uh, Robin Hood and Weibo that pride themselves and say, oh, we are, you know, commission free platforms. Now you are really dancing to Wall Street. I thought you guys were in the business because you were mad at the fees that Wall Street was charging. And then now you guys are going behind our backs and working for them and protecting their own interests. If somebody on Wall Street shattered a stock and the stock keeps going up, whose fault is that? If I shorted the stock and the stock kept going up, is there somebody that can put in a regulation to protect me as a retail trader? Heck no. But yet you want to protect the, the billionaires and the millionaires on Wall Street. Guys, I mean, I, I know I, I probably sound like I, I'm so mad right now. Yes, I am mad because um, this is so wrong. Retail investors, it's like we don't, we don't have a shot. Everything that we do, Wall Street controls it. Because think about it, Webo, Robinhood, all these brokers that we use, yes, it's commission free, but guess what? Wall Street, their, their execution times are faster. That's why they bring the servers closer to them so that it takes two seconds for their, for their trades to execute, but your trade has to travel a longer distance, 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds for your trade to travel and execute. That, that length of time that it takes for you, for your trade to be executed, that 10, 15 seconds, that is what billions of dollars to people on Wall Street because they execute millions of trades. They execute trillions of dollars in trade. And so each cent or dime that adds up to them, it's worth a ton of money. And me and you, I mean, the playing field can never be even. I'm so disappointed with this whole thing. And so that said, here's what I want you to do, guys. Um, again, if you are in the business of chasing the GameStop and AMC, um, well, kudos to you. If you made some profit, guys, great job. But I want you to be smart about it because this this thing that happened, this is not what the stock market is all about. Because a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, "Whoa, is this how easy it is to make market in the, to make money in the stock market?" This is not how easy it is. This was just uh, a, a particular phenomenon that happened, and I don't think it's going to repeat itself over and over again. So I want you to get back to reality and start thinking long term and, and thinking and, and buying and selling stocks like a normal person, like the markets were just normal. There wasn't this unusual reaction in the market. So we see that a lot of stocks have actually pulled back during this period. And so you that are, if you have money, this is a good time for you to get into the market because when you buy at this level that's low right now, you can actually ride the wave back up. Um, this happened. There is really, uh, people are really panicking right now on selling. So you see the price of the stock keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. So you get in. So like today, I'm looking at stocks like Workhorse. I'm looking at stocks like Neo. These are stocks that we've talked about here on the channel that are currently right now on sale, in my opinion. So you start loading up on some of the stocks. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do a longer list for you guys to really see uh, some of the stocks that I'm thinking. Uh, because again, I want you to not just take this opportunity to chase a little bit of you know quick dollar here and there with uh, GameStop and AMC. I want you to take the opportunity and buy because the the consequences of AMC and, and GameStop give you the opportunity to get in at a lower price and buy some of these stocks and then write them back. Because uh, once this thing settled down, if you bought at that low price when this thing comes down, guess what? you're gonna be riding up and you're gonna be just fine. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. And again, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I really don't like the way the game is played. It's really designed to cheat on us retail investors. So the fact that uh, Wall Street is getting beat at their own game, it's disappointing to them and they're so embarrassed and they cannot take it. They're claiming that me and you, retail investors are not smart enough 
we don't know what we're doing. We're going to lose money. And uh, they've been cheating people on Main Street for years. In 2008, they made their stupid mistakes, got bailed out, but nobody ever calls them dumb because, hey, they are people on Wall Street. They call me and you dumb because they think we don't know what we're doing. So I'm super excited that this is um, the, that we're showing Wall Street that, hey, this is it's possible. We can, we can, if we work together, we can beat you guys at your own game because the number of retail investors are way more than the number of people on Wall Street. But yet, the volume that gets pushed out wants to get more than Main Street because they have a ton of money, they, ton, they have a ton of liquidity. So that is um, something that you have to keep in mind. Again, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this whole thing going on? AMC, GameStop, did you trade those stocks? Did you make some profit? If you did, kudos to you, man. Uh, congratulations, take that money and then put it in something where you can watch it grow slowly and not worry about it just like disappearing in no time because I saw GameStop go from 500 pre-market down to at one point today down to $112 guys that is a $400 swing so if you bought it at 500 it drops to to $100 you are down $400 that is not how the market is designed to work and usually the circuit breakers in the market is going to stop that along the way but I don't want you to get caught in that situation so uh, again, I know I can go on and on and on. Let me know what you did in these crazy times. I don't think it's even over. It looks like we're still going to see some uh, a continuation of this. This whole week is just going to be a chaotic week. But again, be smart. Take advantage of the stocks that are getting beat up and, and making sure that you're loading up on those stocks so that when the, the storm really comes, you can ride those stocks up and make some profit. That is my advice to you. And I hope that this actually helps you. Again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, WeBoasty has their promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks at no cost to you. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your homework. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.